Yeah. So yeah, and there was another uh I don't know if you followed it. Kruger, I think. Uh there was this leftist I guess he was a, a journalist and he lived in uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a different section of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And he had gotten to a back and forth with uh Scott Adams like like a year ago. Right. And uh unfortunately the guy 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 got shot. Like he got shot seven times in seven times in his house. Oof. Like and you know, and everybody's dunking on him and stuff like that. Um but yeah, it's, it's like I don't know, seven times seems like I don't know. It doesn't seem like a random robbery or something like that. It seems like he pissed somebody off or somebody, you know, meant to get him or something like that. But that that's that was another story that happened in Philadelphia that people were talking about this week. Oh yeah. Yeah. I did see that on uh Twitter today because there were a few people going back and forth about that. Do you know, did they ever release the caliber of bullet that he was shot with? No, they didn't release anything like like any specific details. The cops said they had no leads or anything. And I'm surprised about that because I'm like, I know there's like everybody has ring cameras now. Right? right. So I, I figured I was like, I figured a guy at least had a ring cam. Right. Or his neighbors have. They didn't release anything. They didn't release no mm. pictures. Uh, no, be on the lookout. Anything. They they released nothing. So I, I don't know what what. I don't they they have no leads in that in that in that shoot. Well, it is still fairly early. Um, yeah. you know, since the event happened. So uh it could be uh likely that more details come out, you know, as as the investigation progresses and uh all of all of that blather that they usually uh spew from the podium at the press conferences. Uh I'm sure if they want us to know some you know nitty gritty little detail about it they'll it'll get splashed all over the media so that you can't avoid knowing it you know yeah yeah, yeah definitely um uh, looks like we're heading into more perilous times than uh what those of us who grew up in the latter half of the 20th century became accustomed to in our uh young lives and of course, that's why Liberty Radio is here. I'm sure that's why uh, you do Hotep's Been Told You every Thursday with Hotep Jesus to, you know, help uh, get better information out to people so that they can make their own decisions about things. 